Alright guys, so welcome back. Today we got some more Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 5. Um, so last week we ended off with, well okay, last week we had some Edwin kind of brought in front of the king and stuff like that and they're gonna determine his, his death sentence and, and whatever, you know, you know, okay. And then, so now we also saw that like Levi and the gang were in the forest, you know, they, they're in a situation where they're once again torturing somebody and we, there are some people approaching um we don't know who they are i think it might be like hanji in the gang but like who knows um and so now we're just gonna see how all that's gonna play out you know kenny ackerman all that stuff going on like whoa so yeah i'm just excited to see what this episode has to offer so let's go There's people having a barbecue outside and i'm just like let me have some <laughs> Can I just say again how much I love this intro? Like, when the song comes in, I've said it before, but like, the feels, that's all I get from it. This like, other side of Attack on Titan that is good. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Humans are disgusting. They're just like casually setting up this thing to like hang somebody. Like, what the hell? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, the Oh my gosh, his eyes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> intimidated. Thank you. Somebody got to say it. Good job, Pixis. よじんが壁を破ってきた際人があまり残っとらんようじゃ巨人に呆れられてしまいましょうぞ。よろしい。よろしいですな。でディトークワンス。ガッシュ。ピクシス<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> He better not. He said he was just gonna watch. It's okay, he's not gonna die. <laughs> I know it. Why are you smiling? Wait, is that lie? Wait, no, they can't lie about that. Whoa, I'm just Look, if everybody goes against him, he can't do anything. Like I said last week, like power is given by the people. Like, like if they all just did what they wanted, they just have to sit there and watch and take it because they can't kill everybody after. You know? Wait, I was ranting, so I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> this kind of sounds like a, a thing they made up, and then hopefully somehow people are going to hear what they said. Or something. Like, I feel like this was to expose them, remember? No? No? Yes! This is what I've been saying! Exactly! They can't do shit! I knew it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> 
Sorry, this is what I like to see. <laughs> this king has just been sitting there like that for the longest time. <laughs> Has he been like half asleep on that chair this entire time or what? Why? Why? Why did he say that? <laughs> See? I'm like so happy. <laughs> okay, now Eden. See? Stronger when you're together. うん。<笑><笑> ロットレースを除く一族全員が盗賊に惨殺されてしまったんだと。Eden! <laughs> oh, is this like on the cover where he's like tied up on like the stone? Hey. <laughs> yeah, you see that on the cover. And then you see like Levi, and I think it's Kenny that's like behind or something. <laughs> No! Does this go back to like when his daddy injected him with something? <laughs> I'm just guessing, guys. No, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay, um... What the heck? <laughs> okay, let's go to the preview. Yeah, that was his dad right there. Wasn't it? Oh, oh my gosh! Wait, what? <laughs> okay, we just saw his daddy. That was his daddy, no? Oh my gosh. Haven't seen you since season one. <laughs> Shit. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay guys, so this episode has some, um, a lot of peaks of interest. Like, I'm just extremely intrigued now, like for like secrets and stuff. Like, okay. So, at the beginning, obviously, like, I'm super happy about... Okay, like everyone was saying, you, in the end, you never know what the right decision was. And I completely understand that. But, like, just be a good person as much as you can, okay, guys? <laughs> be a good person as much as you can. Which is what they were doing, although Erwin believes or thinks, you know, this was actually more selfish than anything. Like, I didn't want to die. I want to see this. I want to see that. So he made that choice. But in the end, you are saving more people and hopefully it can stay that way in the long run. So it's like, just try being a good person. Okay, <laughs> that's all I could say about that. So yeah, I'm glad that they were able to overturn the crown there. And, um, and now they're free, the scouts are free again and everything, so that's super cool. Uh, okay, and now it's kind of going to like this whole thing about race and whatnot. Is it race or race? How should I say it? I'm not sure. I'll say Reese because it sounds better. It sounds more like a name, like race, Reese, race. 
Okay, I'll say Reese. Um, if it's if I'm wrong, just tell me. Um, okay, so he it seems almost like he's kind of behind a lot of what's going on. Like he's not actually like an innocent person robbed of the throne or anything. He kind of now he's looking sketchy. Like he was behind the attack against his family, which is messed up. Okay, <laughs> and because honestly, if you think about it, what they said is true. Like that's super suspicious. Like they were praying in the chapel at that time were they unaware of what was going on or was that their way of praying that like everything goes okay and that people are safe yada 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 so for whatever reason they were in the chapel that night um and then they get attacked by bandits um and somehow the father of the family is the only one to survive like what are you doing <laughs> you know like usually a family would just how how is it that he would be the only one to survive and obviously everyone's different, of course, but you would think in a scenario of like a father that loves their family, you would think that naturally they would probably stand up, you know, for their like daughters, for their like wife, you would think. Okay, but obviously I think everyone should get off their ass and fight, but you know, I'm just saying that generally, you would kind of see that like, you know, don't touch my family, you know, my little girl, but so you would think that he would be the first one to probably get slit throat, you know? And then after the rest could die. But he's the only one to survive. So, like, that's that's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of weird. So it kind of shows that he wasn't that kind of loving, forward, caring father. You know what I mean? Like, that cared so damn much about his family. So you can kind of see that characteristic if he's the only one alive. Because he probably hid or, like, we're thinking he's behind all of this. So there's that. There was how Hanji was explaining that the entire building that was made of stone was like destroyed in areas which didn't really make sense for an attack from bandits, um, even if it was set fire or whatnot. So, and she's saying how strange that there were no titans. Now, I have no idea what to say about that. Like, I really don't know how titans got there. I guess there were more people that could change into titans, but is Reese able to change into a titan? Like, maybe he can. Like, holy crap. Like, I don't know. Um, maybe it's in their blood. Maybe that's what their bloodline is, which is why he was so after Historia. Maybe her bloodline is able to just trigger Titan transformations or something. Maybe that's what uh, Eden's father was able to make a like type of drug out of their blood, um, which allowed Eden to be able to turn into Titan. Like that could be what the the drug is, and that's the great sin or whatnot. Like. Whew, this is so cool. Okay, this is just my thoughts anyways, though. Um, please don't spoil down below what it is because I'm honestly just enjoying thinking all this and hopefully I get the answer soon. Uh, okay, so there's there's that thought. So like we're saying, Reese is very suspicious. Um, Eden's father is going to come back in the picture since season one. Like, whoa. Um, and like I said about the whole bloodline, maybe there was a connection with all of that. Um, and of course, with Historia being like the last of the bloodline, um, maybe that's why he was just trying to like harvest her real quick and like keep her around and whatnot. I don't know. This is crazy guys. Okay, so um, They're still thinking that like um, Eden's probably gonna be eaten by a Titan But with all the information we're getting like maybe that's not exactly the process they're gonna go about it and I really want to know what like what kind of position Eden's father is taking in this is he all for it like oh my gosh yeah yeah eat my son it's like, is he all for it like for his maybe he's like a crazy scientist and he really just cares about you know getting results more than anything which would be a whole switch from what we kind of thought he was like um i don't think he's gonna be a jerk like that but who knows um and then yeah i really want to know what position he's gonna take or maybe ed is actually gonna come out of this okay but maybe they're gonna create a disaster while they're at it or they can either do something that'll actually be very beneficial and good so these are my thoughts for this episode. It's going everywhere and I honestly have no idea what to think or like, well, no, I do know what to think. You heard me thinking like what I think this entire rant period, <laughs> but I don't really know what to, I'm not confident. Like I have no idea. I can't pinpoint like, yeah, this is definitely what's going to happen, you know? So I'm super excited for next week's episode. Um, I hear that next week is like a certain weekend. I forgot. So I don't even know if there's an episode next week, but if there is, regardless, episode 6, I'm super, super hyped for because it seems like we're going to get some mind-blowing information, and I'm so down for that. So thank you so much for watching. Leave what you think down below. No spoilers, please. Um, and I'll be seeing you guys again soon. So thanks a lot, and bye.